Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and edit memory store release instances in GCP using GCP console. I have logged into my Google Cloud account. Now let us go and create the release instance. Like this. Click create instance. Give an instance name. I will call it as a demo instance. And then the tire selection we will select basic because this is just for a demo purpose so we don't need high availability so let's go with basic and the capacity i'm going to give it as 1 gb and the region i'll leave it as the default and zone i'll just select us central 1c and the network so i'm going to select the default network and all other information i'm just going to leave it as default then click create instance the read is instance is getting created while the instance is getting created let us go and create a vm instance because we will try and access the read is instance from the compute engine vm select the navigation menu compute engine click vm instances click create instance we'll again call this as a demo instance the region is again us central one so we will select the general purpose e2 but i'm going to change it to micro because i'm just going to use this instance just to connect to the read the remaining everything i'm going to leave it as default and then click create the vm instance demo is getting created the vm instance has been successfully created now let us SSH to this instance, click authorize. Now we have logged into the VM instance. Now let us install the Redis tools. Now the Redis tools have been successfully installed. Now let us go and check whether the Redis instance has been successfully created or not. The Redis instance has been successfully created now. Select the instance. So if you wanted to create any alert policy based on the CPU or the memory, you will be able to create it. You need to click create alert policy and then you have to select whether you wanted to create an alert based on the CPU or memory and this is and configure the notification channel. So in this demo, we are not going to create any alert policy. So I'm going to click cancel. And in the monitoring again, you will be able to see the various metrics. And in the configuration page, you will be able to see that information about these radius instance. Uh, what tire it is, whether do we have any read replicas, and what is the location and what is the capacity and the max network throughput and what is the version right what is the estimated cost all these information is available in the configuration page and in this connections page you will be able to see the connection information so this is the host ip address this is the ip address we will be using to connect to this particular radius Okay, now let us try and connect to the Redis instance which is running in the GCP from this VM instance using the Redis CLI. So now we have connected to the Redis instance which is running in the GCP. Let's try and perform some operations. As we all know, so Redis is a memory cache and it stores the value as a key and the value so let's set some key and value set key i'm going to give it as name the value is okay i've set a key with the name as name and the value as capital right now let us retrieve the value from this key name So we are able to retrieve the value. 
now we have created a radius instance and we have accessed the radius instance from the vm instance and we have created one key value pair and we have retrieved the value of that key also now let us go and delete the radius instance click delete and give the instance id which is demo here then click delete the memory store radius instance demo has been successfully deleted in this demo we have seen how to create a memory store radius instance and how to connect to the radius instance from a compute engine vm and then how to delete the memory store radius instance if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo